Walaikum assalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Noor Maisara Atira binti Muhammad Isa and I'm a student of accountancy from College of Science and Business School. And um, as we all know, most of the disunity of uh, the Ummah uh, nowadays is due to the different points of view regarding to the political issues. So, um, how are we going to tackle this problem? Because um, uh, the disunity of people, uh, that people are divided uh, due to these um, petty issues. And um, my question is, the way how we want to tackle this uh, political issue and people points of view. Okay, that's all. Thank you, Dr. Zakinai. Sister, that's a very important question that today the Muslim Ummah is divided and one of the reasons because of political issues. So how do we solve this? Sister, you vote a politician which is more closer to Quran and Sunnah. If you are a democratic country and if you have a choice to vote, you vote a politician which is following Quran and Sunnah more. And if all the Muslim Ummah does that, the politician, whether he likes it or not, he will come to Quran and Sunnah. He will come to Quran and Sunnah. So, if you have got the power of democracy, if you have the power to vote, and if you are Muslims, the problem is that if we Muslims, Ummah, are not close to Quran and Sunnah, so the politicians don't want to come close to Quran and Sunnah. If you come close to Quran and Sunnah, the politicians will come close to Quran and Sunnah. And we find, mashallah, many parts of the world, that if the people are strong, if the people are close to Quran and Sunnah, the leader of that community is also close to Quran and Sunnah. So finally, you are the person, if you're a democratic country, that if you really follow Quran and Sunnah and want it to be implemented, they will implement it, inshallah. Hope that answers the question. Uh, if Allah is merciful, why Allah don't put Adam back in heaven after Allah forgive him? If Allah is merciful, why didn't Allah put back Adam after he, after he brought him down from heaven? Allah, inshallah, Adam is going to go to heaven. All the messengers of Allah will go to heaven. Surely, Adam salam was in heaven. He disobeyed Allah. He asked for forgiveness, Allah forgive him. He led his life here, Inshallah he'll be in heaven. The question is whether you and I will go to heaven, we don't know. 